Let's work on this question about general equilibrium. So we have an exchange economy with two consumers, Anna and Benny. Now, there are two goods to consume, clothing and food. We have their utility functions. So this is for Anna, this is for Benny. Uh, we have the endowments for Anna, 240 units of clothing, 240 units of food. Ben's endowment is 120 units of clothing, 120 units of food. In question two, we want to compute the equilibrium price ratio and show that is equal to one over two. Okay, before we go further, let's recall ourselves some things because if it's about consumption, we must remember some things about uh, budget constraints, about utility, about maximization and so on. So first of all, let's recall that a budget constraint is the limit of money that we can spend. And in this case, we can spend it on clothing and food. So for the clothing, we pay the price of clothing. For the food, we pay the price of food. Now, I wrote here the budget constraints for Anna and Benny to, to have them right away. For Anna, is going to be the following. 240 PC plus 240 times the price of food. For Ben, is going to be 120 times the price of clothing plus 120 times the price of food. Now, with this in mind, we could actually write an expression for how much every consumer is going to consume because recall the following property from utility functions when we have utility functions with exponents like in this case and in Benny's case when we want to calculate how much we're going to consume we have this property that the share of income that we allocate to one good the share of income that we allocate to one good for instance in the case of clothing the clothing that Anna is going to consume is going to be equal to 1 over 4, the exponent, relative to the sum of the exponents, 1 over 4 plus 3 over 4 is 4 over 4, which is equal to 1. So it's 1 over 4 divided by 1 times the budget constraint that Anna has divided by the price of clothing. Now, with this in mind, we could actually write the following property. We could describe it for Anna. It will be 1 over 4 times the budget constraint of Anna, which is this one, 240 times PC plus 240 times the price of food divided by PC. So we have one thing. Let's do it also for the food. So we have the same the same logic. The food of Anna, let's go here below, the food of Anna is gonna equal to the share that she's spending on food. So the exponent, three over four divided by the total, divided by one, three over four divided by one times the income of Anna that she spends on, uh, on both goods divided by the price of food. So we will have 3 over 4, let me change colors as well, 3 over 4 times her income is the same as here, 240 times the price of clothing plus 240 times the price of food divided by the price of clothing. Now the same logic, let's do it for Bill, let's do it for Bill. For Bill we have this income, but we have a bit different powers, we have different exponents there. So let's take that into account. For Bill we have 1 over 3 is spent on clothing, so we have to keep that in mind. The clothing for Bill, clothing for Bill is going to be equal to 1 over 3 divided by what is the total? Because the total is not going to be 1. It's going to be 1 over 3 plus 1 over 3, which is 2 over 3. So we have here 2 over 3. Uh, 2 over 3 times the income of Bill divided by the price of clothing. So what is 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 3? Well, if we cancel out the 3s, we will have, let me actually cancel out the 3s, we will have 1 over 2 times what's the income of bill of Benny I'm sorry I, I mix those two 120 times price of clothing plus 120 times the price of food so let's write that down 120 120 times price of clothing plus 120 times the price of food divided by the price of clothing now the same logic let's do it for the food of bill so the food of bill is going to equal to the share that he spends the exponent for food so 1 over 3 relative to the total, relative to 2 over 3. So it's going to be the same as here. 1 over 3 divided by 2 over 3 times the income of Benny divided by the price of food. Now 1 over 3 and 2 over 3, they cancel out. We will have only 1 over 2 left. So this and this goes away. We have 1 over 2 left times the income of Benny is 120 times price of clothing plus 120 times price of food divided by the price of food. Now we have everything. We have the consumption of all goods of both consumers and we have to find out the price ratios. Now to find out the price ratios, we also have to keep in mind that we can take, we can take equations with the same denominator together and make them equal to a number because we have the endowments. We have the endowments, which is 240 units of clothing 
240 units of food and the same goes for Benny. So in the next video, we're going to use this endowments, these equations to find out the price ratio.